What does your baby wear to go to sleep at night? Before we get into our intro, we want KID Close TV wants to inform our subscribers that KID Tip Tuesday will be uploaded every Tuesday where we discuss parenting tips, advice, children's fashion, health, and development. Anything that has to do with newborns to babies. So please make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss an episode of KID Tip Tuesday. Now, back to the show. In today's episode, we will discuss what babies should be wearing at night. Now, I know that parents have to deal with breastfeeding, diapers, getting up in the middle of the night. Now I have one more thing to think about. Well, this is kind of important because the right clothes can set the tone for the night for the baby and the parents. If the baby is comfortable in their cl in the clothes that they wear, they will sleep longer and have more restful sleep. And, and this also helps the parents also to sleep. Newborn babies usually sleep for 16 hours a day. So it is important they are comfortable in the clothes that they wear since they're gonna be asleep for so long. The first thing you should start with before even dealing with clothes is the temperature of the room. The room temperature should be 68 to 72 degrees. A little bit on the cooler side will promote better sleep for the baby. It helps the baby fall asleep and stay asleep. When you dress your baby at night, the same rule applies to the baby at night as you would dress them in the day. The American, um, the American Association of Pediatrics suggests that you should have them wearing one more layer than what you would be wearing. Here are some simple suggestions. A two-piece pajama set made out of cotton, muslin, or bamboo. Why cotton? Cotton keeps its natural shape, mold resistance, and also has some antimicrobial properties. Also, they're not as rough as other fabrics. You also have the muslin fabric, which is often used for swaddling. And the material also helps them or keeps them from overheating. Swaddling is a good thing to do when you lay your baby down to sleep at night for these reasons. Number one, it reminds them of when they were in the womb. Number two, it has a calming effect. And number three, it helps them sleep better. It also reduces the startling reflex that they have called moral. This happens during the night and swaddling helps by keeping their hands tucked in. And if their hands are not flailing around in the reflex, they tend to sleep better and longer. At night, being underdressed is better than being overdressed because it prevents overheating, which is one of the symptoms of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Bamboo material is an excellent choice. It's breathable. It keeps moisture away by keeping in the heat. A footed onesie with a swaddling blanket will also be an excellent choice to have. PJ onesie with a swaddling blanket that's made out of muslin fabric is an excellent choice. Also, you want a pajama set that has zippers because it makes it so much easier for you, especially if you have to change a diaper in the middle of the night. You don't want to be fussing with buttons and all kinds of other accessories. Zippers make it a whole lot easier. Also, things like buttons and other accessories are a choking hazard. Here's a suggestion. Have them dress in a onesie with a swaddling blanket, sack, or a swaddling blanket with a Velcro. And I know the tendency is when the temperature drops, you want to go to get a comforter or some kind of blanket to cover the baby to keep them warm. But nothing should be in the crib. A bare crib is a safe crib. Newborns do not have the motor skills or strength to be able to remove a blanket if it falls in front of their face. Hats. Hats should be used with caution. Remember, babies have a hard time regulating their body temperature and they lose a lot of their heat through their heads. But on a cold, very chilly day, a hat would be recommended to keep in the heat. We hope you enjoyed this episode of KID Tip Tuesday from KID Clothes TV, produced by KID Clothes. Please make sure 
you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss another episode of KID Tip Tuesday. Remember, KID Tip Tuesday will be uploading an episode every Tuesday. So make sure that you subscribe, like, and we will see you next Tuesday. Thank you.